Grand Junction Rail Yards. So, in Grand Junction, now with a rail yard behind me, Grand Junction was founded in September 1881 and they struck a deal with the Denver and Rio Grande, as it was pre-Western era, to uh, get the railroad through the town. And the first train rolled through in November 1882. Grand Junction is named as such because the Colorado River and the Gunnison River meet. Not because it's a big junction for the railroad, that came later. So we're on our way to the old, what was the Rio Grande station, I thought I'd come along the main street, just have a little look. It seems quite nice down here. Nice shops and cafes and stuff. The aim of today is to get to Ure, the Switzerland of America. Now, after we've been to the station, we're going to head south and loosely follow the route of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. All the way to Montrose and then we're going to go off to see the Cimarron Canyon Rail Exhibit and then back to Montrose and down to Ridgeway where there's the Ridgeway Railroad Museum and then on to Ure. It's going to be fun! So the journey is about, I don't know, an hour and a half, a bit longer but I'm going to be stopping off along the way so I've given myself some time. Ooh, we're on to episode 7 of my epic journey between Salt Lake City and Denver, seeking out railroad stuff, amazing scenery, interesting places and people. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and please share if at all possible. So join me on the Grand Tour. Is that the California Zephyr? So I was very lucky to find the California Zephyr was just waiting to go into the station. The California Zephyr, of course, is the daily sleeper train which goes from Chicago to San Francisco. It used to be run by three rail companies and between Denver and Salt Lake City was the Rio Grande section. These days it's run by Amtrak. Coming up is the old historic station. Where do I park? So it was a nice bonus to see the train and be able to watch it leave. Oh yeah. And there it goes, bound for Chicago. 
So let's look at these station buildings. Really there's three main buildings to look at. This one's at the eastern end of the station and is the middle-aged one, uh, currently disused. And this one here is the older one, which is the old Rio Grande station, also disused. Both buildings actually are set to be restored in 2024, which is great. There is a website for the project, so I'll put a link to that in the description. This one was built in 1950 and is set to become a boutique hotel. So imagine that, having a trackside room, that'd be awesome. While we're here, we'll just notice there's a, a narrow gauge boxcar opposite. The station looks across several tracks, and in the background, that's actually Colorado National Monument which was uh, a very precarious and scary drive, but amazing views that I did the day before. If you haven't seen that video, please go back and have a look. But you can see all of Grand Junction from up there, and Grand Junction's looking back at it. Now here's the old building. This one opened in 1906, and was designed by Henry Schlax, who I mentioned before, back when I was in Salt Lake City as he designed that station as well. This building is set to become, once again, a place for passengers, with food and drink outlets and retail. And then finally, further on down the platform, that's where the current Amtrak station is. So that was cool, got it just in time to see the California Zephyr go through. Yeah, my... Shush. Yeah, my original plan was to start in Chicago, do the California Zephyr to San Francisco, then drive to Denver. However, rushing it, that would have taken a month to see everything I wanted to see. So, we started in Salt Lake City. Which is good, this is a great two weeks, and it's busy. On to, uh, where are we going next? Towards Montrose. Sort of following the Denver and Rio Grande Western route, which goes off, there's like a Y, and then it goes off to the south. In a quarter mile, turn right onto US 50 East, South 5th Street. So, onwards, buttercup. That's full rate of spread. I've not named my car buttercup. Just so you know. So let's have a look at the old Rio Grande map. Here's Grand Junction in the center, and then the main line from Denver to Salt Lake City, the Moffat Tunnel route anyway. And then down here is Ure, where we're heading to. So we come down from Grand Junction, down to Montrose, and that was the standard gauge section, and then it became narrow gauge down to Ure, which formed part of the narrow gauge circuit of the Denver Rio Grande Western, which included the Rio Grande Southern off to the western side between Ridgeway and Durango. Now here's Grand Junction Station and you can see the highway goes over the rail yard and you can see the triangle or um, Y there in the center which feeds off to the south and then the railroad and the highway go adjacent to each other across the river and then the railroad follows the river whereas the highway goes off to the right and then we meet up again at the little town of Whitewater where we can see the railroad at Callow Creek. Right, there's a nice bridge here which goes over the railroad yards, you should get a nice view, and then over the river as well, I think. Grand Motorway, wow! 
It's an old shed with me at Rio Grande motorway on it. Yeah, it's quite faint, but I noticed this building had Rio Grande motorway across the front, which was the Rio Grande's highway going freight division. Right, so that's the Y. That line there is the old Denver Rio Grande Western heading south, which would have gone to Ridgeway, but I think the track only goes to Montrose now. Across the river, there's the railroad. That's the last we see of it for a little while because it follows the Gunnison River. And we go off to the side a little bit, but we'll see it again soon. Train. just pulled over into Foster's Lane here at Whitewater and this is Callow Creek. Just a few miles outside of Grand Junction and as you can see the railroad is sweeping by here. So the Gunnison River and the railroad go a quite a way over that way now to the, the right of us. Uh, so it's a bit of a way until we see it again. Um, should be near Delta where we come to it again. That's a different Delta. I was in Delta, Utah the other day on the way to Caboose Village. This is Delta, Colorado. Obviously because we're in Colorado. So coming away from Whitewater, we split from the railroad as it follows the river and we carry on down the highway, which is Highway 50. Then we come to this very green area, which is Delta. See the railroad comes in from the river across the fields and then crosses the highway and we come off from the 50 join the G50 road and cross the railroad then we come across the fields just here across the railroad again as it comes back and then we hook around and go alongside the railroad and head south together leaving the town and we stay together until we come to the town of Olathe, where we split and go either side of the town, and then a little while afterwards, we come together again and go side by side into the town of Montrose. And 
and right here is Montrose Railroad Station. So we're just on the approach into Delta. Scenery's gone a lot more greener. A few ponds about the place. We should be crossing the railroad twice. It's crossing the river. And then there's the railroad. We're here again. And here's the railroad coming back across from the left. to the railroad. So follow us on our right for a little while. Looking ahead, coming into view now is the San Juan Mountains. Very exciting. So if you simply put Rio Grande Avenue into your sat-nav, like I did, I ended up literally a mile to the south on a little road that didn't go anywhere. You have to put in that. The Denver and Rio Grande first ran into Montrose in 1882, but this station building didn't open until 1912. And there you go, Denver and Rio Grande. Now, the building is home to the Montrose County Historical Museum. So it's that way to Grand Junction. And the line goes on a little bit further that way, but not far. Cool, well there's obviously a little uh, historical museum there. I haven't got time to check it out, but it looks cool. Um, onwards to Cimarron Canyon. So yes, from here I did go east towards Cimarron Canyon where there's the rail exhibit, a train displayed on a bridge, but that will be a separate video I'm afraid. So now we're heading south towards Bridgeway and Ure. Let's have a final check of Google Earth, heading south from Montrose. Heading towards into more mountainous territory, and there's a lake. Into Ridgeway. If we zoom in, you can see Ridgeway Railroad Museum right there. And there is the original station building. And then we head south, further into the mountains, into the valleys of the San Juans, 
And there's a ray. Look at the San Juans! Look at the lake! Wow! That before us is Ridgeway. Oh, and there's the railroad museum. That green field in the front is the Ridgeway Railroad Museum, at which I was lucky enough to be offered a private guided tour. Now that will be a separate video as well, I'm afraid. So look out for that. But here's the station building, which still exists. And that's a little hint of the Tracing the Rear Grand Southern video that I'll have coming up soon as well. So heading into Ure. Ure was a mining town originally. Now it's popular with uh, outdoorsy people, skiing, hiking, that kind of thing. Ure was named after a Ute chief who was considered by some to be the best chief there ever was for he and his wife were very good diplomats and very good at peacekeeping. In fact, it was thanks to the diplomatic ways of Chief Ure and his discussions and agreements made with Otto Mears that the Rear Grand Southern, one of the most legendary railroads ever, came to be. Ure is dubbed the Switzerland of America, due to its alpine-style scenery. It did make me wonder if they had Toblerone at all. I also wondered if anyone said, hip hip hooray. amazing this place is. So coming up there's visiting the Cimarron Canyon Rail Exhibit, a train left on display. Then there'll be a guided tour of the Ridgeway Railroad Museum. Then there'll be a little video on Ure, looking from the ground and from above. Yes, my mum was pretty scared when I showed her what I'd been up to. So yeah, please share the video. Give a comment, I want to hear from you, like, and make sure you're subscribed. And thank you for watching, I'll see you soon.